Hello, y'all. Welcome back. Today I have another favorites video for you. We're doing the sort of favorites from December, but I never get to these videos at the beginning of the month, so it's usually like mid-month. Therefore, it's like a little bit of last month, a little bit of this month. You get it. That's just, I can do what I want. Okay, it's my own channel. I can do what I want. I am smack in the middle of a bunch of projects and those videos will be coming for you guys this month. I am almost done with the boys room makeover and I decided to surprise my teenage daughters while they are away in London with their grandmother. Gosh, it's making them sound very spoiled. While they are on a trip to London, I am doing their bedroom makeover as a surprise for them for when they get back. They've been wanting this uh, room makeover for a while and they totally agreed to be like the last of the kids to get their room makeovers done because their room is the largest and there's so much to tackle. And I just thought it would be a really fun surprise for them. So that is what I am working on right now. And I uh, haven't uh, showered or washed my hair in a while. I'm trying to just kind of like, let's part it and let's just make it like stay right here and hopefully you won't notice how dirty it is. With that said, grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab a snack and uh, let's talk about some favorites. I've got a baby goat lingering outside of my office, actually more like loitering outside of my office. And I have a feeling you're gonna hear her like kick her little feet on the door and stuff and try to get in. Sorry, Godifus, she just chews on paper, anything she can find in here. So she cannot be in here. I've got four categories, home, beauty, clothing, and lifestyle. We're gonna start with the home category. I've tried to kind of keep it like to five items in each category. I'm getting better at being more organized in these videos and having some kind of like logical flow to them. So the first item in the home category is something that I purchased around Black Friday. Uh, they had a buy one, get one deal, and that is the Pura Diffusers. I've seen a little bit of rumblings about these, but I honestly hadn't heard much. And so I was really interested in trying them. They are plug in the wall diffusers, basically. So you plug this into the outlet. However, they are controlled by an app on your phone. You can control everything. So the light that comes out, there's like a colored light inside, but which is fun, but that's not the point. The point is, you can track and see how much you have left. Each one carry, uh, holds two containers. You can do the same scent or separate scents in that. And so you can choose that, you know, you want it to do a little bit of this one. You can choose the kind of power of the scent, uh, the timing of it. If you're gone all day at work and you want it to turn on and start like putting some scent out in your house like 30 minutes before you get home, you can set that. So it doesn't have to be going all the time. That's kind of one of the problems with a lot of the like plug-in air fresheners, whatever. It's kind of like all or nothing. You gotta, they gotta run all the time and then they run out really fast and it's often like very overpowering. You can set the power on this, the timing of it. There's so much you can control from the app. There's also a ton of different scents. I went with a big variety in this, the first order that I did because it was buy one, get one free basically on the starter kits. I actually bought two starter kits, but got four. So I did some Christmassy ones, which we still are going in our house. So basically Pura does scent collabs with a lot of different like content creators or designers or just different places that you might have some knowledge of. Like for example, Studio McGee, they have some scents with Pura and I did get some of those. For me, I, I really questioned whether or not I felt like this would be worth the money. What made it so great that, you know, it was worth the money compared to other like air freshener things you plug into the wall. And I really think the value for this comes in not only getting some really beautiful scents that are not overpowering, very subtle smells uh, that are just gonna be different than what you could find at Target, uh, but also how much you can control it uh, through this app it really makes it something that uh, will last a long time. It, you know, you just have so much control over it for whatever your specific needs are in your house that to me, that's really what makes this an awesome product. Next up, I'm gonna share with you guys something very exciting. This is the pillow. It's called The Pillow from Marlo. Marlo is sponsoring today's favorites video, but let me tell y'all, they are in a favorites video for very, very, very good reasons. Before we even get like too deep into the pillow itself, I love it when I get to partner with brands that I love, but I love it even more when they give y'all really great discounts. And right now, you guys, if you use my link down below in the description box, you can get two Marlo pillows for 25% off, or you can get four for 40% off. So y'all probably know that I kind of constantly complain about neck pain, back pain. It's an ongoing thing for me. I have 
done chiropractic care. It's just one of those things that I'm always dealing with. I've tried so many different types of pillows. It's the pillow that determines whether or not I wake up the next morning with like a crick in my neck and like, ow, can't move. What I really love personally about this pillow is the flexibility in one single pillow to get whatever you like in a pillow as far as like firmness goes. So you can fully zip it up for a really firm pillow. You can unzip one side for kind of medium. You can unzip both for a more like plush type feeling pillow. So there's really so much flexibility built in in one pillow. The Marlowe pillows are actually filled with like a chopped memory foam. And that's what really allows them to like shape to, well, like be shaped to your neck, to, to your head, to how you're laying on them. And they do have like a hypoallergenic down fiber alternative that gives you the feel of having a down feather pillow without any of the actual feather and like allergies and stuff that come along with it. So it's like a, a fully hypoallergenic, but amazing feeling pillow. And you've probably seen me talk before about our Brooklinen products. We love Brooklinen. And Marlo is a pillow brand made, you know, by Brooklinen. So the companies kind of tie together. So for me, I automatically kind of go in knowing like, all right, I trust this company. I trust this brand. So I'm gonna give these pillows a try because their bedding is amazing. Brooklinen's bedding is amazing. So I kind of went into it knowing that like the Marlo pillows were gonna be good too. But I was very excited after the first night of sleep on them to wake up and feel like, oh wow, I can turn my head fully in both directions without any neck pain. I'm, I move a lot in my sleep. In order to get comfortable, I often go into like what my friends and family refer to as the coffin position, where I lay flat on my back and literally like cross my arms over my chest and just do this because I figure like the less I move, the better. And with this pillow, I'm actually able to like sleep on my side. And as I move around at night, the pillow kind of moves with me and adjusts with me without me having to like stuff it and shove it and be like messing with it constantly. These pillows definitely deserve a spot in my favorites video. I am very thrilled to share them with you guys. Again, I love sharing things with y'all that I truly love and that I really believe that you will love too. So don't forget to check out the description box for the discount where you guys can click my link and get two pillows and get 25% off or if you get four pillows you get 40% off so fantastic deal check it out down below next up in the home category is this uh, compact iron and I this is kind of one of those things that I was like I don't know if this is like kitschy I felt like it was kind of expensive so I, I really was concerned about whether or not it was actually going to be worth the money and I actually took this with me uh, when I went to Nags Head for my little sister's wedding reception in December because I had purchased a dress that was kind of like a, a silk material. And what I really like about this compact iron is that, first of all, it kind of clamps like a hair, like a flat iron does. So it really allows you to very quickly and easily iron like a tablecloth or just like a curtain or something. You don't have to pull out the ironing board and have a surface that you can set and iron down on. Um, and it has different settings, different temperatures. Like I let the machine know that I was gonna be ironing silk with it. So it adjusts the temperature to reflect that. But it worked so perfectly just to make that dress. I mean, I hung the dress in the car when I drove. I didn't like wrinkle it up or anything, but it was still pretty wrinkly when I got there at the bottom. So it was so nice to be able to plug that in. It heats up pretty quickly and just zoop, 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 give like a few quick irons and my dress is ready to go, perfect, like, it, it's pretty amazing. And to me, it's a really great like travel option if you're going for a length of time that you would need to bring an iron. Wrap up and throw into your, you know, into your suitcase and luggage to go with you. It's great, like it's just like an on the go iron. So I really, really liked it. I was very surprised by how much I liked it. And I wanted to like get it, use it, take it with me before I talked about it with y'all because I do feel like it's kind of pricey compared to most items like that. But for the price, I wanted to make sure that it really was, in my opinion, worth the money. And it definitely is. And I have loved it. The next thing are these rug pad grippers. I'm gonna tell you a couple of reasons why I really like these. If you watched my undecorate from Christmas with me video where I put down the new rug under our dining room table, uh, I put these on the four corners of the rug. I don't know if you all have this problem. I feel like everybody does. There's certain rugs that depending on where they are in the room, they catch pe people's like feet, catch them, and they end up like rolling up just in one particular area. That side over time gets like kind of flipped up. 
Why I like these particular rug pads, they come in a big pack. I can't remember exactly how many are in there, but it's plenty for multiple rugs in your house. The sticky side just goes on the actual rug. Then you have the grippy side that touches the floor. So you're not actually sticking anything to your floor. I don't really want to do that for a multitude of reasons that we don't need to get into right now. So I can still lift it to vacuum underneath it around those edges that hair and dirt just seems to get under the rest of the rug at, you know, at some point. So I can easily lift that without messing up the grip or you know, messing with that in any way. But while it's flat on the ground, it does just give it that bit of like tension that it needs with the floor to be able to kind of hold your rug down in place. I really, really like these rug grippers. The next thing are my fake tulips. So I've had these fake tulips for probably six months. So here's the thing. Fake flowers often just look fake, period. They just do. It's really hard to find a very good artificial flower that actually looks real. These tulips, not only do they look real, they have a texture to them that they feel real. Even a good artificial flower that from the eye, you're like, okay, is that real? Is that fake? I can't tell. As soon as you touch it, you can tell. These tulips have a like density, a bit of like velvety tackiness that like real tulips have that is crazy. Uh, my husband thought that they were real and when he like touched them, that did not convince him that they were fake. He still thought they were real until I told him. I love these. It comes in a big bunch of them. I got a big black vase from TJ Maxx, like a big oversized one. And that's what those tulips have been in. I just have to tell you when it comes to like artificial flowers, the tulips are amazing. I'm really, I, I keep meaning to, and I haven't yet gone uh, to see if the brand makes any other type of flowers that I could try and see if they are as good as the tulips. So I can't speak to anything else from that company, or any, but the tulips, the white tulips are what I have. They're amazing, or the cream, white cream tulips. They're, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. I love them so much. And a little like, not a pro tip, because I'm not a pro, but just a little tip that if you put out fake flowers like in a clear vase, vase, uh, add some water to it. Helps make them look more real. If you have a vase with no water in it, then it's pretty obvious that there's nothing alive in it. So toss some water in there, uh, even with your fake ones, and it kind of ups the realness factor. Let us jump to the clothing stuff, then we'll do beauty lifestyle. So with clothing, uh, the first thing is this very cute zip type sweater that I got from Amazon. It is white, which I know, right? Balls of steel to wear white, but I do really like wearing white. So I've kind of like, it's one of those things, like they make good stain removers, it's good. I love, this is the same material as a couple of the different sweaters I've shared with you guys before from Amazon that is just so insanely soft. It has the kind of big oversized collar that this is a, a quarter zip. Uh, so, you know, obviously you could zip it up, though I don't, I leave it unzipped pretty much. Um, and it very closely resembles, there is a brand called Varley. I had never heard of that brand. Apparently it is very popular. I've seen it shared by multiple people. However, the Varley versions of this, I want to say are like $160 or something. They're well over $100. They're maybe like 150. Oh boy, did you guys hear that? Like both of my hips cracked when I moved my foot. They're very expensive. And maybe they are worth it and so much better. I don't know, cause I don't have that one. But what I can tell you is that this has the same look to it. Um, and for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the, the, the cheaper one in this case. I, I don't know what I'm missing. So I will miss out on the Varley just fine. This comes in, of course, as Amazon does, a bunch of different colors. Also, I have, I kind of tend to, if I find something that I really love, I like to maybe get it in like multiple colors if I already know I really like it. And I have this uh, very deep green sweater that I purchased. It's kind of like a little shorter in the front, a little bit longer in the back, though it's not a butt covering sweater. It's a little bit boxier. I just think it looks really cute tucked in. I love the weight of it. It's a little bit heavier. It's not like this super, you know, soft knit, whatever. It's like got a little bit heavier feel without being itchy. That's always a problem with me is when you move away from the super soft sweaters into like some of the heavier weight stuff, you also end up increasing in itchiness and I don't want to increase in itchiness, but we have a solution. This dark green sweater that I got, uh, I just have loved it. So I went back to see like what other colors do they have? As I am thinking again forward towards like spring and wanting to kind of change from wearing some of the fall winter colors I usually wear, hence the white sweater. But I got this particular sweater in a very like bright green, kind of a neon green. And it's funny because I realized I think 
because I don't really wear like fluorescent or bright of many of really any other colors it's just this green that I happen to just really like so I don't know it's kind of like a, a brighter chartreuse green I just really like it okay um, and it feels like very springy to me and bright so that's the kind of like the personal di mental direction I'm going in. I'm dressing brighter even though it is not as bright and cheerful outside same thing with the next sweater this is one that I shared with you guys I have it in an apricot color and then I believe in the nutmeg color this one is perfect for wearing with leggings it is a longer in the, the back than in the front but it still covers like camel toe double butt all of it gets covered with the sweater and I got this in a very like kind of bright and cheery berry color it's not a wine color but it's like a pinky berry color and again to me it just felt bright and cheerful I know I already know how much I love this cut of sweater. I got this one in a medium. I love that I can wear it with leggings um, or I can wear it with jeans, like skinny jeans or something like that and just tuck in the front. There's lots of different ways I can wear it. I love the cheerfulness of the color and the softness of this sweater is unbelievable. It's so soft. Also purchased a one of the like boat neck, mock neck sweaters in this like very pretty like baby blue color again i'm just thinking towards spring and i want to get away from everything being like brown orange uh cream like i wanted to wear some brighter colors make myself feel a little bit more alive and happy and i just as i've told y'all before have really come to love kind of like the very muted sagey green and then also like the variations of blue the baby blues and stuff so this is already one of my favorite cuts of sweater the last thing are these shearling lined booties boots whatever I did not want to pay for Uggs I didn't want to pay the Uggs price I am hard on shoes I'm hard on shoes a lot especially if they're comfortable shoes that I know I'm gonna wear the crap out of uh, I just, I struggle with wearing, like buying the more expensive versions of those kind of shoes. These are like the Sherling little boots. I just wanted, again, something I could slip on in the mornings that kind of crosses over from slipper to shoe I can wear outside. I can wear it all the time, anytime. And I liked these kind of having the like opening at the top where you can roll them down and make it look like that rolled down look or wear them up. They're from the brand Deer Foam, which you probably already know how much I love their slippers of any kind. But these are specifically like inside outside. So they've got the soles on the bottom that they can be worn inside or outside. Very comfortable, very affordable. If you want that kind of uggy look, or just uggy feel because I'll be honest the uggy look is uggy we all pretend like oh no it's so cute with my like uggs and my leggings and my sweater they're ugly they're, they're not I, I in my opinion I don't think that uggs are like the epitome of fashion however they're like an ugly woman that can really cook I don't know if anybody grew up listening to that song we grew up listening to oldies and does anybody remember that song if you want to be happy for the rest of your life you got to make an ugly woman your wife and he's like the guys are talking back and forth he's like man you're I saw your wife the other day and boy is she ugly and he's like I know but she sure can cook and like that is that song used to as a kid I was like what is this but now I find it hysterical so the Uggs are like that they're like the ugly woman that can cook okay everybody needs a pair they're fantastic for comfort maybe not so much for fashion speaking of ugly let's move into things that make you less ugly right the beauty products that hopefully make us less ugly I'm kidding I'm kidding I feel like I always have to give all those caveats people be like you don't need makeup to not be ugly I know that I'm kidding this little thing right here boy oh boy I wish I had bought this so much sooner as I purchase things here and there from Colleen Rothschild it's one of those products that I was like mom I, that looks interesting but I don't need it and my mom got it and I saw hers tried hers and was like that's it I must have that and I have no regrets it's called a matcha tea hydrating balm so it is a balm stick uh, essentially like think of a, a balm for your face like a lotion balm moisturizer for your face in stick form matcha tea this is so amazing especially if you have like very dry skin dry patches under eye as we age we're getting crepey under here you know and you look at yourself halfway through the day and you're like oh yeah I get to the point where I'm like I just need to go wash my makeup off because this is such a mess this is like the perfect little refresher that especially if you've been in a lot of air conditioning and stuff you just take a little bit of this balm I can like pop it under my eyes and kind of like like re-emoliate under there to allow me to be able to kind of like re-moisturize hydrate and put like press in my concealer and stuff I will use it in other spots but I do mostly use it like right around here 
but anywhere you would need some hydration. Maybe you got like a scaly patch, okay? Some of us ladies, we got like a little alligator patch just randomly like on our chest or neck or face or something. It's just perfect to carry in your purse. I also use it sometimes at night, like just putting a thick layer of hydration on my face before I go to bed. I love it so much, but if you struggle with like feeling like you need to refresh under the eyes during the day at work or whatever, that's perfect, love it. Let's talk a little bit of like actual makeup. So I was looking for a new foundation. I was feeling a little bit wah wah with what I had been using. And I went to just repurchase my old Dior Air Flash that I love so much. I've been talking about on my YouTube channel since its inception, probably. Uh, since I first started putting up videos in like 2014, I've talked about this Dior Air Flash foundation and they discontinued it. No one asked me, they just went and discontinued it. I decided, all right, I will try one of their other foundations and I decided to try this one. It's the Capture Total. Cell Energy Super Potent Serum Foundation. I believe that this is what they don't want to say is like, this is for old ladies. This is for when your skin is like feeling crepey and wrinkly. It's a serum foundation. So it's going to have that more hydrated look and feel to it. And I really, really love it. Most of the time, do like a pump and a half, rub it between my fingers and then just kind of like rub it in. And then I'll take a beauty blender and just boop, boop, boop over the top real fast but I've just been applying it with my fingers. I have it in the shade 2N. I love how it looks. When I was with my mom and my sisters for my sister's wedding, it was like the first thing we were always like sharing, you know, like, oh, I bought this makeup thing. You have to try this. And so when I saw my mom and sister, I was like, y'all have to try this. Um, so my mom went and got some and she loves it too. But when she was there, cause see, I just order mine online. She went to the actual counter to get color matched, which is always smart. Um, however, they gave her some samples of the Dream Skin, basically like it's the primer that you're meant to put on before foundation called Dream Skin. She gave me a few samples of them. I don't own a full size yet, but I will very soon because I'm almost out of this. And I say that without actually knowing how much that costs. So maybe I will edit this out because <laughs> maybe it's insane. Now we talk about brows. So I saw a deal on, it was either HSN or QVC during the holidays that was a kit for a good price. And it's the Too Faced Super Fine Brow, brow Detailer with the Too Faced Brow Wig which brush on hair, fluffy brow gel. So on like no makeup makeup days, I can just put on this brow gel. It does have like the little hair fibers in it that like kind of really fluff up your brows. But I really like this pencil. Mine's taupe. I have taupe and I think it's called taupe in both shades probably because I think they go together. The taupe color, love it. Love the shape of the pencil. It's the angled tip. So you just twist it up, which is fantastic. And then the tip comes out at an angle. I just really, really like it. It's kind of replaced all my brow products except for that I still do use my NYX. Is it NYX or e.l.f.? I think it's e.l.f. The brow paste stuff that like really makes them like stay up. Now let's just talk real fast about perfume because y'all know how much I love to share perfumes with you guys that I really love. This is kind of a funny story that I don't know why I had never really smelled these before, but when I was with my sister, my mom, Black Friday shopping, we might've had a couple of martini drinks at Benihana with lunch before we went to Ulta. And so we were a little slap happy at Ulta but I think my sister and I probably scared people in there when we were sniffing things. But I started smelling these Gucci Bloom perfumes, the Gucci Flora, Gorgeous Gardenia, Gucci Bloom, all of that. And I was like, I love all of them. I could hardly pick. I loved them so much. So I decided instead of buying or spending the money on like full size that I would get roller bottles. They are very like florally, but like the Gardenia, I don't know, they're just so like fresh and clean and feminine. I really, really like them. Uh, this one, Gucci Bloom, is a much like, much more light, like a lighter scent, a cleaner scent, if you will, uh, and not too fruity, not too florally. I just really like all of these. They're all good, okay? So if you haven't smelled them, go smell them, uh, if, especially if you like floral type perfumes. To me, it's just the right amount. The next thing I wanted to share with you is this 
uh, well, I'm using it as a concealer brush. Oh, it is, it's called a Pro Angled Concealer Brush. This is from Beauty Pie, and I got a few new things from them during the holidays, uh, some candles and stuff like that, but I got this uh, concealer brush, and I've used it pretty much every single day since. I did just wash it yesterday, so it's looking a little bit cleaner than usual, but I, it's, the perf it's the perfect concealer. I mean, look at that, boop, 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 boop. It fits perfectly under there, and because it's Beauty Pie, it's rightly pressed. It's it's priced very, very well. I kind of wish I had other Beauty Pie things to share with you. And one of these days, I just need to make a video of like all of my favorite things from Beauty Pie that I purchase regularly. All right, then lastly, this is kind of, I'm actually gonna, these last two things are kind of, uh, one's lifestyle, one is like more of a beauty type item anyways, probably I put it in lifestyle, but now that I say that, I think it goes in beauty. It is an epilator, I believe, is what these are called. I've never purchased one of these before. I honestly didn't even really know that they existed. It is like glass something. I'll be honest with you, I don't understand the science. <laughs> I don't know the technology, I don't understand the science, and I don't really care. It looks like a flat little, just little thing that you hold, and you shave, like you rub the hair off of your legs. They have like pictures of people shaving their arms with it. So you, whatever it is that you shave, you can likely shave with this, though they don't recommend sensitive areas. They don't recommend bikini areas or armpits. I haven't tried it. My armpits are pretty tough, so and I don't have a ton of hair there, so I would, I would maybe try it there. But I can tell you that for legs, it gives the softest. If you're someone who, like when I shave certain parts of my legs, even right after I shave, like I can still see the little hair on, in the follicle, it makes me crazy. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna wax at this point, so just don't even suggest that, okay? If you saw my video from last year packing for Mexico and getting ready for Mexico, you know why I don't wax, okay? I'm not even gonna think about waxing, so don't suggest it. But this is awesome and because, first of all, you could totally travel with this and you wouldn't have the problems of a razor. If you're doing like carry-on only or something, just pop this in your bag and you can like, I mean, you can like spot treat. Have you ever gone somewhere and you look down and you're like, oh, sweet, tiny baby Jesus, there's like four inch hairs on my knee that I somehow missed. You could just grab this and just give it a quick zoop, zoop, and they'd be gone. Your skin is super soft when it's done. You just have to be careful because upon initially doing it, it feels like this is amazing. Like, don't just go harder and more or you'll give yourself like a, a burn, like a rash with this. You'd have to be careful in that way. But it didn't give me a rash. It claims to help with like if you have like the strawberry appearance on your, like after you shave, it claims to help with that. Um, I can't speak to that, but what I can tell you is that I love this for uh, keeping on top of you know, like I can't dry shave my legs. I couldn't just take a razor and quickly shave them if I wanted to like wear shorts, but I didn't want to shower or bathe right at that moment. I just needed to quickly, I couldn't dry shave, uh, but I could and do now use this real quick. Like I'm wearing these torn jeans today where I've got some leg exposed and I hadn't shaved. So I could just give it a quick rub and my leg is smooth as can be right there. It's pretty amazing. I really, really like it. So if you're looking for some kind of alternative or something, I mean, you could honestly like just carry this, uh, something like this in your bag with you, like I said, for like those, oh crap, I missed a spot moments, all right? It's just pretty amazing. I don't know why I've never heard of it before. I don't know why uh, no one I know personally has used it and told me about it. Maybe this is one of those things that everyone else knows about but me and people are gonna be like, duh, but I didn't know about it, okay? I didn't know. The last thing to share with you, you see my little scrunchy wash, the wash, nope, my scrunchy watch band. So it's a watch band for my Apple Watch that is like a scrunchy type of material. It actually comes in a three pack. I got the one that has blue and black and like the cream color. So there's no, it's very like smooth around. There's no like where the metal part of the clasp is like bothering or irritating. That's kind of more what was happening is I was feeling like I was constantly like scratching under there and like wanting to adjust and move my watch uh, because it was feeling like kind of scratchy and itchy. Maybe that's just a completely temporary thing, but that's what sparked me to look for something that would be a little bit softer and that's how I came across these scrunchy Apple watch bands. So it comes in a three pack. I got black, blue, and cream. Like them a lot, especially for the price. Fantastic, okay? With all that said, that covers my favorites for the month for December and the first half of January. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed if you made it as always, all the way to the end of these very long, very chatty videos. I greatly appreciate you. Um, that's it for me, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.